Hello guys, welcome back to Rukia's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make soft layered chapatis without kneading them. So stay tuned and enjoy my recipe. In a big bowl, add 3 cups of wheat flour. I used this kind of cup and I added 1 tablespoon of salt and 2 tablespoon of sugar and mix all the dry ingredients very nice. Followed by 5 tablespoon of oil and if you're using ghee, add 3 tablespoon of ghee because ghee is heavier than oil and mix everything very well. Then you will add 1 cup and a quarter of warm water. Pour a bit by a bit to avoid the flour from getting too sticky. The secret to soft chapatis, you always have to knead with warm water, especially if you're living in warm places. Add water a bit by a bit till you have a smooth duff. Once you have a smooth duff like this, add 2 tablespoons of oil and apply all around the duff and knead a bit, not much, so that the oil gets into the duff. Then take a plastic bag and cover the flour and put aside for at least 6 hours to get soft. And if you don't have time, put aside for at least 3 hours. We are doing this so that the flour gets softer. The longer you put the flour, the softer it gets. And after my 6 hours timing, I will knead my duff so that the oil gets into the duff. Then put the duff on top of the surface and knead for 2 to 3 minutes because the duff is already soft. You don't have to use any force. If you want to know your duff is ready, press it in and it will automatically come up. That's when your duff is ready. Then afterwards, we will make some tiny balls. Sprinkle some flour on top and at the bottom and press the duff in to become flat and roll it out into a big circle as you can see in the video. Once you have a big circle, add 1 tablespoon and a half on top and spread it around and cut horizontally into 7 to 8 lines and you'll get around 7 to 8 chapatis. Then take one roll at a time and make small tiny balls. I love styling my balls in this way, but if you have your own way, you can just do it to make it easier for you. So how I do my balls, I grab the roll at the top and roll it till the end. When it's almost at the end, I dipped in and press the duff in. And my small tiny balls are ready. I managed to get 7 balls, so you will get 7 chapati. Put them in a bowl and cover them for 1 hour. If you don't have the time, just bake them directly. After 1 hour, take 1 duff at a time. Sprinkle some flour on top and at the bottom and roll it out into a medium circle. Make sure you don't roll the duff at the center too much or else your chapati will be too hard when they are baked. And that's not good. When you want to have a perfect circle, first start at the center, then end towards the side. Do the same process with the remaining duffs. 
Then bake your chapatis. Make sure the pan is completely hot before putting the chapati in. Once the pan is hot, add the chapati on top and slightly spread the chapati using your hands and let it cook for two minutes until golden brown. Then flip the chapati on the other side to let it cook for about two minutes till golden brown. Once you have a nice golden brown color, add one tablespoon of oil or ghee on top and turn it to cook. Take a tissue, use it to twist the chapati till it gets a nice golden brown color and turn once more and let it cook for one minute and your chapati is ready. Continue with the other chapatis. And your soft layered chapatis are ready. Place them on a plastic bag and put them in a hot pot to make them more softer. You can eat along with beans, vegetables or stew and enjoy your chapati. Thank you once again for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes on how to make chapatis, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.